Oregon is now five days into the sale of recreational weed and business is brisk. Right, especially in Washington County where there are far fewer dispensaries. Our Tim Becker is following up on how the sales are going. Yeah, Portland has close to 100 places for people to buy recreational weed. Now think about the size of Washington County. I checked and between Beaverton, Hillsboro and Aloha, there are just six licensed stores, two in each city. So yeah, they've been racking up some big time sales. May I help you, sir? At Shango in Hillsboro, the bud is flying out. Insane. It's been so, so busy. And the cash is flowing in. It's been phenomenal. Super, super excited. Um, we've been extremely, extremely busy. Adrian Perte tells me his store is selling six to seven times more marijuana flour than before recreational users walk through the doors. And at Blooming Deals, about nine miles away. Probably like th three, four, maybe even five times the amount of sales that we were doing before. Numbers are way up also. They can't sell edibles, oils, and extracts to recreational users, but the flower market is flourishing ever since the recreational rollout October 1st. You must have had expectations and projections. Did you exceed that? Was it about what you thought? A lot more than I ever expected, for sure. I didn't, the turnout was pretty insane. It was constant. It never went away. At, you know, at 7.30, we had to tell the people outside, you're not getting in. Manager Gabe Garcia tells me they're seeing more older clients too. People he thinks grew up when weed was frowned upon and stopped for whatever reason. Now they're back by like 10 times the amount of people. I found out Washington County has some stricter rules than others. Among them, more limited hours, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. right now. But that isn't cramping their sales, which they expect will continue to grow. You know, one person tell another, and it has a whole pyramid effect, you know, two, four, six, and so forth and so forth. So we're, we're, we're doing real well. Our numbers are climbing up every day. Well, the Oregon Health Authority requires all dispensaries to track shipment and sales electronically, and the OHA verifies that with inspections. We're going to have a better idea, though, exactly how much recreational business shops are doing when they have to start uh, taxing sales, and that's on January 4th. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this whole legal pot thing. Right? It's just, I am. Me too. Someday it'll just be like wineries and liquor stores, I guess. <laughs> That's right. Right Thanks. now, it's a little.